welcome back and we're going to go through some of the top features of our J series cameras and remember we do have a few different models out there so um, whatever one you've got uh, just you'll be able to find these top features on them. We're going to start with the SR Auto and uh, in the SR Auto mode basically the cameras out of the box come on this setting and SR Auto basically stands for Scene Recognition Auto and uh, Basically, Billy and uh, all of you out there, when you're pointing this camera at your subject, it will be able to identify certain subjects. And uh, basically, whether it's a portrait or a landscape picture or a macro or a close-up type picture, a night scenery picture, a night portrait, or even a backlit portrait, the camera will optimize the settings. So whether it's how it sets the focus or the exposure or whether or not it turns the flash on automatically for you or not, it will optimize uh, during these six fairly typical shooting settings. And uh, specifically in the night portrait mode, um, it will allow the camera to have a longer shutter speed as well as mixing the flash with that so you'll be able to see your subject lit nicely as well as a nice scenery uh, like a, a cityscape shot or something like that. So you can get some terrific pictures that would otherwise be probably too complicated for the mm -hmm. average person to figure out on, on a, even on a manual setting camera. So love those SR auto shooting modes. Billy, tell us about the panoramic mode now. Okay, sure, absolutely. I mean, the SR auto mode is actually probably a mode that you'll be using, you know, 95% of the time. It does do a great job with its close-up shots or portrait or landscape. But for those situations where maybe, you know, you're, you're at a scene and you want to get sort of a wide-angle view of the whole shot, there's actually a panoramic mode, and all you have to do to access that is go into the menu. In the shooting mode, you can scroll down until you see the panoramic feature, and uh, you select, once you have that set, it gives you two options. You can actually take three different pictures going from left to right, or right to left, whether you're going left to right or even up or down. So your choice, you decide. I just normally go from left to right. Um, so let me show you a quick little demo on that. I have it set right now. I take the very first picture. It shows up with the picture, I go OK to save that image. It then gives me an overlay for the second shot, so I can quickly line that up. And I don't actually, don't ha don't actually have to be perfect when I do that because the camera's going to automatically detect the edges and stitch that for you inside the camera. Again, I'm going to save that shot, take the very last shot again, do that. Boom, it saves it. And when it's taking the pictures and when you have it done, it posts all three images, it stitches it all together. It may take about a couple of seconds, but it gives you a very high res uh, panoramic That's shot. That's amazing. Which, you know, for this style of camera, it's absolutely amazing. I've, I've actually done a print. Here's actually one that was done downstairs in a lobby. As you can see, great little panoramic feature for, for this type of camera. Very simple to use. No software required in terms of, you know, having to download and playing with the computers. You can take that image and send it to your printer and print. Yeah, that picture you just showed looks like some Photoshop expert did that or whatever. But to see that that's done right inside the camera and done completely automatically is just amazing to me. Thank you, Billy. No problem. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the movie mode on this camera. And uh, all of our J-Series cameras has a great movie mode. And basically, uh, when you turn the camera on and you go into the mode setting, you set it to the movie mode. Uh, you can shoot at 640 by 480 resolution, which is enough to fill the screen of a regular television, not an HD television, but a, a, the normal uh, televisions. It'll shoot at 30 frames per second, so it's a nice, smooth transition, good quality video. And uh, again, we do capture sound on this one. So, um, you know, being able to pull a small camera out of your pocket like this and take great still photographs as well as really good movies uh, makes this a really good all-round entry-level camera. So Billy, tell us about the scene shooting modes to wrap us up uh, on our advanced features for this camera. Okay, well with the auto scene mode which switches from macro portrait and landscape, if you're one of those guys who, who are very picky and, and want to select a specific scene, there's actually 17 different scene modes that can be accessed through the menu system. Again, through the shooting mode, you can scroll down from sports to night tripod, beach, snow, fireworks, sunset, flower. There's even a party mode, so again, you know, if you have a little bit too much to drink, your pictures will be a little bit more really? steady. Really? Putting the camera on autopilot <laughs> on the party. Nice. 
Uh, so that's there's some quick little modes, and really what they do is, is they, they optimize the white balance settings and the lighting situation and the focusing so that you get the best possible picture mm -hmm. in that particular scene. So again, if the scene recognition auto is not what you're looking at, you can set it to the specific scene mode to get the best possible shot. Yeah, wow, fireworks too. That's amazing. Well, anyways, there's a look at the top features, uh, advanced features of the J-Series cameras. Uh, thank you very much, and until then, next time, I'm Greg. And I'm Billy, and we're the Fuji guys. Fuji guys. See you soon.